If you're ever curious about starting a sticker shop and wanted to know the necessary things you need in order to get started, you've come to the right place. So today I want to share with you guys all the things that I currently use in my small sticker shop business and also some cost saving alternatives that you can use. And yeah, I hope that this video is helpful. The first thing you're going to need is sticker paper. I like to use two different kinds. So the first one is from online labels. It's your glossy paper. And I like to use it to make my sticker sheets like these. And then for my die cut stickers like these ones, I like to use the Zyketo water resistant paper. And you can get this on Amazon. This one comes in matte. I think it's the best quality paper that I can find. And then since it's only water resistant, not waterproof, what I like to do is also spray it with a top coat. Next, you're gonna need something to draw your illustrations that you're gonna turn the stickers with. So what I personally like to use is the iPad Pro. Um, I know that there's a lot of people that also use another version of a tablet. You can use that um, for a more cost-effective way. You could also just draw out your stickers. You could also paint them, scan them, and then print those out. So there's lots of ways that you can make and design your stickers. The program I like to use on the iPad Pro is called Procreate, and I honestly think it's my favorite app. It's super helpful. You can create different canvas sizes and save those and you simply just draw. It comes with preset brushes that you can use. You can also create different palette colors and toggle between those. When you're ready to print out all of your stickers, I highly recommend using an inkjet printer because they are the most compatible with a lot of the sticker paper that's already out there. I like to use the Canon Pixelmon line. I think this is really good for printing out stickers. I use the TS64020A model. When you're finally ready to cut out your stickers, what I personally like to use is the Silhouette Portrait 3. And technically, while you can cut out your stickers using a pair of scissors, they only will help you make die cut stickers like these. If you want to make sticker sheets like these, you're going to have to get a sticker cutting machine because these are going to have to be kiss cuts. I highly recommend getting a small little scale off of Amazon. They're relatively inexpensive and they're super helpful when you're trying to package and ship out your packages. So here's my little packing station. Here I have all my branding cards like my thank you notes, my backing cards for my sticker sheets, as well as my die cut stickers. Um, you can get these printed out by Vistaprint or Moo and things like that. However, I personally like to just print these out myself. I think it's super easy. I just use cardstock. And then here I just have this little container for all of my packing supplies. So I have bubble mailers in the back, I have rigid mailers, craft envelopes, and then also these little pastel ones. I did start off with these. However, when I started making my little sticker sheets like these, I definitely needed the craft envelopes because they are a bigger size. Next I have these cello bags. I have them in two sizes. I do have them left over from my project that I had before, so I'm gonna continue using them. I use them for my backing cards just to protect my stationary stickers because these are not waterproof. These are just like stationary stickers. So they do need a little bit of protection. Um, when I do run out, what I'm going to do is I'm gonna try to find an eco-friendly version. So I don't recommend these. They are affordable. However, if you can afford to do a more sustainable option like a glassine bag, I highly recommend that. So next is not super necessary, however, this is a paper cutter that I use pretty often. If you're going to make your own backing cards like me, I'd highly recommend getting one. This one I think is really sharp and it cuts really straight edges. I think it's super helpful um, when I'm making my own backing cards or greeting cards. So I don't have the best organization system yet. I am planning on getting a few things to help me organize a little bit better, but I did get this off of Timu. It's just an acrylic kind of display that I'm using right now for my sticker sheets. I also have these little clear drawers that I got from Daiso. I come with three drawers um, and I just stack two on top of each other. It's not the best system. I plan on getting a few more, um, but these were relatively affordable since they were from Daiso. So those are all the things that I recommend when you're starting out a sticker shop and all the things that I personally like to use. If you're interested in anything that I've talked about in this video, please go ahead and check out the description. I included everything onto my storefront just to make it a little bit easier for you all. And yeah, I hope you like this video. Let me know if you have any questions in the comments below.